guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a what is in my travel makeup bag video. I love watching these, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Now, there is a lot of stuff in here, but that's because I'm going to be traveling for a few weeks and not just a few days. So I really want to make sure that I have like a lot of options while I'm away. The bag that I'm using is this one. It's part of the Lily Pulitzer for Target line. I got this as a present and I'm Really excited to use it. I just think the print on it is so pretty. Like, oh, I'm so excited. So I will show you guys just like an overview of everything. There is definitely a lot of stuff in here, but I like my options. So I'm just going to start with what's in the top pocket. So in here, I just have the simple stuff. I have a chapstick, an eyelash curler, and some tweezers. And then in here, I have all of my makeup brushes. I love that there's like a pouch for that. So that's really cool and then in the next one I have like all of my powder products or almost all of these are like a powder product so I have a ton of stuff in here but I only have one eyeshadow palette this is the Lorac Pro 2 palette I absolutely love this I really feel like it's the only thing I'm going to need so I have that in there and then I have the Naked Flush palette this is perfect for summertime I have it in streak I believe there's like three different palettes and this is just so perfect for summer. I love that. And then I have Hula Bronzer because you guys know I'm obsessed with that. I have two since I hit pan on both of these, so there isn't that much in either of those. I also have the Coralista Blush. Super pretty, perfect for summertime. It has a little bit of shimmer to it and it's pink, so it's basically like kind of like a highlight and a blush in one. And then I have the Estee Lauder Pressed Powder in 2C1 Pure Beige, I believe. And that's just what I set foundation with. And then I have two palettes from e.l.f. This one is a bronzer and a blush. This is highly pigmented, so it's awesome and perfect for traveling since it's just in like a little compact. And then I have a translucent powder that I really like to keep in my bag just for when I get shiny or I also set the under eye area with this. And then I have the Rose de Oro Baked Blush from Milani and I talked about this a few videos back. This is just super pretty. It's like an orange, like a really bronzy orange so I love this. For my mascaras I'm going to bring the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte, I'm going to bring the Full Lash Bloom and then I'm going to bring the L'Oreal Hydrofuge Voluminous Carbon Black Waterproof Mascara because I know I will be in the water a lot. I also have the Urban Decay Shadow Primer which I don't even really use primers on my eyes that much but I just want to have it with me just in case I want to use it. I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown as well as the Soft Caramel, I believe this is called, the Eyebrow Gel. And then I have the L'Oreal Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner in black that is so easy to use. I really love this. I also have a black waterproof eyeliner for the upper waterline. I have a white pencil for the lower waterline. And then I did bring this eyeliner by Marc Jacobs and it's a brown shimmery eyeliner that I like to smudge out on the upper lash line if I just want to do like a really fast makeup look then that is perfect for that. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in here. There is so much stuff. I wanted to put so much more stuff in here but I'm trying to like refrain myself. Restrain myself? Refrain myself? What am I even trying to say? So in the last pouch almost everything in here is a liquid product. So I'm going to start with the primers. So I did bring two primers with me just because they're both pretty different primers. This one is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. And then I did bring my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer with Sunscreen SPF 15. This is super lightweight. It actually feels more like a lotion than a primer, so that's perfect for summertime. I have my two favorite foundations in here. This is a CC Cream from IT Cosmetics in Light. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation in 1C1. And then just because those two foundations are pretty light, I want to make sure that I have two foundations I can mix together in case I get pretty dark on my face. So I have the True Match foundations from L'Oreal. These are awesome. I have the N2 shade, which is an ivory. It's very, very light. And then I have Natural Beige, which is pretty dark. So that way I can kind of mix them together if I do get pretty tan and like find the right shade for me. So that way I don't have a super white face and a really tan body since those two foundations are pretty light. I did bring three concealers. This one is the Maybelline Cover Stick in Ivory and this one is just like for spots is what I really use that one for but it will blend out so perfectly and so easily. It has like a powdery finish so I really like that. My Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer and this one is an Ivory as well. This is like a highlighting concealer. 
Love that. And then I also have the Maybelline Fit Me in light. Three Maybelline concealers, but they're all extremely different concealers, so want to make sure I have all of those. And then I have a red lip liner and a pink one. These are both from Jordana. The red is the plum, or I'm sorry, the red is the plush plum, and the pink is silver lilac. It's more of like a purpley pink. So here are all the lip products I'm going to bring. I have two lipsticks from NYX, and I have the Pure Red Lipstick and Minimalism, so that is like kind of like a nude purpley pink. I can't even really describe that, but I really like these. And then I have a bunch of lip glosses. So I have two from the Lily Pulitzer for Target line. One is like a purpley pink, and then the other one is an orange red color. And then I have the Nude Illusion lip gloss from Maybelline. This is one of their elixirs, and this is so, so pretty. I also have a NYX Butter Gloss, and this one is in Apple Strudel. I love this. It's kind of like a pink with a little bit of an orange to it. And lastly, I wanted something with a little bit of shimmer to it. So this is the Orgasm Lip Gloss from NARS. It's like a pinky orange, but has a lot of shimmer. So super pretty. So that's everything I'm going to be bringing with me. There's definitely a lot of stuff, but hey, I like my options. And honestly, there's probably way more things that I would put in here if I had room, but trying to hold off. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please thumbs it up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!